Tuesday the 14th on the Compete program. We're starting the session with push-pull work. This is the final week of this kind of theme that we've been doing for the last um, few weeks. Like I said in the notes, we're really trying to overload that push-pull stimulus, looking at strict press, bench press, and the strict pull-ups. And we're even adding in some bar muscle today for a little bit of increased skill. So you're gonna go 2159 of the seated dumbbell strict press with 975 of weighted strict pull-ups. Um, rest one-to-one. -one, or maybe a maximum of about four or five minutes because if this is really challenging, it probably will take longer than that. So maybe a four to five minute rest period is enough in there. And then you're gonna go 2159 of the bench press and bar muscle ups. Try and use similar weights to what we did for the sets of 15s last week. Probably the same weight will work really well for this. You're probably gonna be looking at breaking up the 21 reps, maybe two to three times, the 15 reps maybe two breaks and then really trying to push to get the nine reps unbroken or maybe just one quick break. The strict pull-ups, if you were able to maintain those sets of eight last week, then you might even be able to increase the load for this 975. If the eights got really challenging last week, then just keep the same weight going into this 975. And then if you have um, bar muscle-ups, uh, you're gonna have the 975 of that on the, on the, with the bench press. You can reduce the reps to 642 or 531 if you have them, but they're a very difficult skill for you. Or you can maintain strict pull-ups for the second block of work as well. That's really up to you. The acid intervals this week, like I said, that our theme right now on the Tuesdays is the, uh, the acid bath style work. I think everyone uh, seemed like they pushed really hard last week, which is awesome. This week we're switching up, going for calories, and it's kind of like the Miko's triangle style, but we're instead of... I think we'll just switch the order around a little bit. We're going to go 20 minutes, not 40 minutes. And it's going to go ski on minute one, row on minute two, bike on minute three. This is a C2 bike. And then minute four is rest. And you're basically being uh, able to choose what calories you're going to maintain for all the machines. Ideally, that is the same calories for all three machines. So for example, 20 calories on all three. But if you for some reason have a massive weakness on one of the machines, then you can drop that one down a couple so as not to have to bring down, if you're, for example, like, oh, I'm really good at rowing and biking, but my ski erg, I won't be able to do more than 17, but I can do 20 on the others. And I don't want you to bring the others down to 17 as well, and those be easy, okay? So you're trying to pick really hard numbers per machine, be aggressive, write the number up on the whiteboard before you start because that can really hold you accountable what i don't want to see is okay i'm going to try and show off and do 22 per machine and then round two actually 21 is fine round three 15 is fine okay that will happen so write a number on the board and then try and hold yourself accountable to that every minute and then just finishing the session if you have energy for it you're going to finish off of that accessory work